Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to my first video on the channel. I'm just going to be talking about a bunch of cheap lures you can get from Walmart because currently it's too cold to go out fishing and I figured, hey, if I'm starting my channel, let's just do a lure review. Uh, starting out, we got this right here. This is Fishing Favorites Hard Baits. Um, actually, I don't think that's a brand. Cream King of Baits. Never heard of them, but okay. Uh, you go to Walmart, these are everywhere, because, honestly, these baits only cost from anywhere from a dollar to, like, two dollars. They make those really realistic, uh, worms and worm harnesses. And I bought this one last summer. I never got a chance to use it. I don't know why. It looks pretty good. And then we got this one that I just bought the other day, because during the summer, when I'm fishing for walleye, I find they're puking up a bunch of crayfish so I figured hey we'll try one of these smaller ones so I catch perch too and then if you don't like the look at this one let's give you a couple of quick looks at them for a dollar it's a pretty good looking bait honestly I think it looks really good uh but if you don't like that one rebel does have this little wee crawfish um there's really nothing different about it except for a couple of the color changes, and obviously this one is about two of these put together, but uh, it runs really good. Um, I find that bait casters can cast these, although it's probably easier to throw them on a spinning rig. This one I definitely don't think a bait caster will cast. I think it's way too light. Um, as far as this one goes, I think that's a pretty big and wide bill for this. I don't know how deep this is going to run, but I'm sure depending on how fast you're going will depend on how fast it goes. So, you can fish it on top too. You can twitch it on the top, maybe make it look like a hopper of some sort. Then we have these. Um, these are called rigged twirl tail grubs. I, I just call them uh, curly tail grubs. They're by the exact same people, I just realized. Different packaging. This one's got a different green than this one. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe the plastic just makes this one look lighter to me. I don't know. Um, this is personally my favorite. I really like this see-through green and pink head. Uh, the perch and walleye both really like this color. And I can fish it a bunch of different ways. Retrieving it back to me fast slow letting it sit on the bottom either way. I've caught and fish on them This one I bought just because during early June leech seemed to be a really good lure Color or even bait to use so I think these would work really well um, These two I think were about two dollars or even 150 maybe 250 at the most uh, These right here this might have been two dollars But I'm pretty sure it was only one dollar because I got it out of the one dollar bin, but I'm not sure uh, this one I know is probably five dollars, maybe even five fifty, honestly. But I, like I said, I couldn't tell you. I don't have the receipt on me right now. But all this together, if, even if these are two dollars, it's like two, five. That's like six bucks, maybe seven bucks. That that's pretty good, honestly, considering most lures, like even this. I mean, from what I know, Rebels a pretty cheap brand, and this was like five bucks. So I'm definitely pretty happy with getting all of these for only like 7 bucks each. And they have a bunch more. This right here is the only uh, crankbait in this style I saw. But they have these ones. And then I think they even have a jerkbait. But I'm not sure. I, I don't honestly know how to fish a jerkbait. So I didn't grab it. But then like I said, they have a bunch more of these uh, curly tail grubs. And... They have those worm harnesses. Those worm harnesses might be worth looking at if you have bluegill or something in your area and you don't want to spend very much money on worms because they they look very realistic in my opinion. Like, I almost grabbed one, but I didn't just because I've never had very much luck on a fake worm, so I find it easier just to use a real one. But um, it was also only like $1.00. And then they also have those realistic bug lures there. They have a grasshopper, a mayfly, I think a freshwater shrimp. They have a bunch of them. Like, honestly, I don't remember seeing this brand 
up till about two years ago, but I can't believe how nice their lures look and for how cheap they are. Like, like I said, look at the colors of this one again. It's got the really nice gold and orange. It's even got a bead in there, I think, or maybe that's just it rubbing against the plastic, I don't know. But it was only a dollar. Same thing. Same thing with this one. I haven't fished with it yet, but if it does work, that's gonna be awesome because it's only a dollar. These, a buck fifty to maybe two fifty. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six of them in a pack. There might be more than, no, there's six in that one. Yeah, but that's like six in a pack. You pick up you know these work, pick up like two of these or two of these and that's twelve baits. Um I should probably talk about the hooks. Some of you might be wanting to know about that. The hooks are pretty good. I haven't had any problems with them rusting or anything. Or bending out at all. They're kind of hard to get out. If you get a fish, it almost swallows them. But, I mean, that's about every hook there is on the planet. I actually haven't caught a fish on this one yet. But I also haven't fished with it very much. The last one I had kind of just disappeared. I really don't know where it went. And, like I said, I haven't fished with these two yet. The moment I get a chance to, though, I'll th ear throw them in a bathtub or something and video how they move, how they fish. Uh, I'm really hoping that crawdad works, honestly. That's the one I have the most faith in this summer, just out of the sheer fact. I know that they like, craw they like uh, crawdads. And then this one, I'm sure I'll catch a fish on it. I could either use it in a creek or in a lake. I'm sure there's somewhere I can catch a fish on it. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much all I was going to say. I just wanted to kind of show some of the cheap stuff you can buy from Walmart. If you're uh, one of those people who just like to go out on the weekend for maybe an hour and don't like spending a ton of money on baits or anything, my next video will probably just be a rod review of you know what fishing pole I like to use, how I fish it, uh, also, I'm filming this on a phone, I think I should mention. It's uh, probably pretty obvious by how shaky I am. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. I'll make more. Maybe it'll get better. I don't know.